I like it, it's cool, the suit's a cool colour. What is going on guys and welcome to the video. Today I'm going to run through my top streetwear YouTubers. Um, it won't be in any particular order, I think there's about 10 of them anyway, so... I guess you could say top 10, but I'm not Virgil, so... Who cares? All I'm going to say is don't expect the likes of Blaze and Derry and Blake Linders to be in this list because they're kind of hypebeast YouTubers and I'm part of that non-hypebeast community. I've got the list on my phone anyway and I'll talk through each one individually, give them like 20 seconds and try and sell you the channel in 20 seconds. By all means go check out these YouTubers, they're amazing and I'll have a few honourable mentions as well at the end. So first up is going to be Verdugo Vibes. If you don't know who he is, he's an Australian fashion YouTuber. I stumbled across him about a month ago and kind of fell in love with his content. Really good personality, really good personal style. Uh, heavily into the sort of the ra uh, the Rick and sort of Raff sort of looks at the moment as well. There's a lot of pieces on Uniqlo U and I, I just think that he kind of focuses on his style a lot more. Really, really good YouTuber, great fun. Really recommend go checking his out, checking him out. He's only reached 12k at the moment, but to be honest, I really think he could reach 30k. Really creative videos, always doing new things. Very good YouTuber, go check him out. Up next is Sickmate. Now, I've been following Sickmate for probably over a year and a half now. Since he was a very, very small YouTuber, probably since about around 3k, and now he's at 60k. And I can see the growth in his videos, he's very improved all of his content, he's got his own unique style of that sort of retro vibe throughout his videos. Heavily inspired by vintage wear, very good YouTuber indeed. Always doing trips to the thrifts and talking about his vintage pickups. He also runs a Depop as well. Very good guy. Just seems like a very nice person as well, and his style is amazing. Does loads of great how to styles, especially if you're into vintage wear and that vintage aesthetic. Go check out his channel. So the pack is run by Kyra TV, and it's kind of like a TV show, however, you could kind of call them YouTubers. Kyra TV do other stuff like Bad Canteen and Greatness, but they're not really heavily inspired by streetwear. But you can see that streetwear is a big player in each of those videos. However, Pack is directly about streetwear, and each episode, the four members of Pack, Danny, Shaq, Dex, and Elias, all have challenges and they have to complete them. Then a judge sort of marks them and chooses a winner. It's great to see because all four different like hosts have different styles. Danny's more into Fred Perry and that sort of nicer lifestyle. Dex has got that sort of goth, Dracula, grime sort of look. Shaq's very arty and very on trend at the moment, especially with oversized, everything oversized. And Elias is in the future, probably year 3000, but who really knows, but Astro Boy himself, Elias. Really, really good channel, very good series as well. They're pushing the boundaries every single episode. There's been a few loose ones here and there that I haven't been too big a fan of. However, I have to say a lot of the videos are amazing and very well edited, considering it is coming from a new and up and coming sort of magazine TV sort of studio. Most of the YouTubers on this list are actually English because I'm a bit more, I like a few more English YouTubers, especially to do with streetwear because that's more my style at the moment. However, this is an American YouTuber who goes by the name of Ari Kagan. He makes great videos and literally just slates Blake Linder and Blazendary and Ari Petru all in one and it's great. Absolutely love his videos, they're creative, he's an amazing filmmaker as well. I have to admire that a lot being a film and television production student and I think that he's very, very creative in the way he creates his videos and the content that he's doing. I especially like his how to get 10K in a year, which shows his journey of him getting 10K. Very well edited, kind of builds a story and you kind of feel proud, for him, proud of him because he's come so far and it's great to see. I, a great YouTuber again, and I'll leave a link down below for all of these people in the description, but Ari Kagan, the master of the meme. Continuing the American theme, I'm gonna go with Geared Towards Gear. I love him, his style is amazing. He has his own brand, which I can't, I think it's called Strats Ballet or something. He runs it with his girlfriend and they both have excellent style and styling especially. I think his how to style videos are great and his DIYs are even better. He just knows what he's talking about and you can see that he loves fashion and he has a very gen he has a genuine passion for it. So, and that reflects in his videos 100%. So definitely check out his channel. Great styling, great aesthetic, and you can see how his style has changed over the years, going from a very like sort of supreme head into a more high fashion and kind of nailing his style down into one sort of area. It's great to see his growth. The next two kind of come as a pair, but I wouldn't really say they're a pair because they make individual videos. However, they have a very like similar style, and that is Jacob Wallace and Fernando. They have a very animated performance, and it's kind of like funny. They just throw clothes around midway through videos, talk about, they know what they're talking about as well. Heavily influenced by like Asian fashion, especially with Fernando. He likes the, the likes of number nine, undercover. Same goes with Jacob, they're big un undercover fans and it's a brand that I've always been interested in. That's probably why I was drawn towards them because they have such a unique styling. Going for more summer vibes and because they live in LA, so for, for summer, they're great for styling especially and I've taken a lot of influence from their videos. 
great YouTubers, have very animated style, very similar. I'd have to say Jacob is probably the better YouTuber and that reflects in the subscribers. He just has a better delivery. However, I think Fernando is very similar, just not at the same part with Jacob. And for the final American YouTuber, it has to be Paul Can2. He's the one with the most subscribers in this video here and he focuses mainly on thrifting and vintage style. Same as Sickmate, however, I'd have to say he's the American version of Sickmate. Always doing trips to the thrifts, always doing really funny videos about how to style. I mean, his video the other day about how to, how to dress like Travis Scott was amazing, so funny. Always uses like references to songs and, and funny videos that he's used himself and references them throughout his own videos. Really cool, great editing style, very funny guy as well. That's Paul Cantu. From the second from last from my top YouTubers is going to be Sanjeev, or Sanj, I don't really know how to say his name, YouTube name, it's a bit confusing. However, he is a personal stylist and you can see that how it reflects in his style. He's very knowledgeable about pretty much everything in fashion. And if you are looking for how to style videos, latest pickups, inspiration videos, he's the one to go to. His knowledge is extreme and that's clear because it reflects in his actual real life job. He has a very soothing voice and just watching his videos is so clever because you just learn so much from each video and it's still entertaining. So Sanjeev is a great YouTuber. I'd love to work with him one day and just meet him because he seems like a very nice guy. And finally for my top YouTubers, that is going to be Magnus Ronning. I've been watching Magnus's videos for over a year now and I've loved every single video he does. He's so funny. He's like the, the text on the screen just makes me laugh every time. His comedy is genius. His styling is great. He started the sort of beige trouser, beige boys trend and pushed that massively. And out of the English YouTubers, he has the most subscribers, especially when it comes to that non hypey sort of aesthetic. Oh, who's calling me? Hello? He's made me fall back in love with Air Force Ones and especially even more into Air Jordan Ones at the moment. His styling is great. I take a lot of influence from him and put it into my own personal style. He's also very brutally honest about everything and that just makes it a really great video every single time because it's just his honest opinion. And that's the same goes for pretty much every single other YouTuber in this list. They are very honest with what they think of different things and how they could adapt it into their own style and their styling is all great throughout every single YouTuber I've mentioned. I'm also gonna name a few honorable mentions. First up is this is Antoine, to be honest, um, I love his videos, but his, because it's mainly around like tech wear, it's not really my style and it wouldn't really influence me. So it wouldn't make my top list of, of streetwear YouTubers. But if I was into tech wear, he'd be at number one instantly. Great YouTuber again, check him out. I plugged him in my last video as well. I'd also like to mention Galux. Again, my style is very different to him. Um, he's introduced me to the likes of Hi-Fi FNK with Korean fashion as well. And I think his styling is great, but it's just not my aesthetic. His videos are great and he, he makes great content. So that's all I can say. I mean, he, he's doing well for himself. He's a blogger and he knows a lot about fashion as well. Done a lot of collaborations. So great YouTuber, check him out as well. And finally is Locust the Mod Honey. I used to like his videos a lot more when he was more around Fog and the Jerry Boy sort of trend because he was the main big YouTuber doing that Jerry Boy trend and it was really interesting to watch. The same with This Is Antoine with tech wear, he was doing the Jerry Boy trend and it was just interesting to see what he thought of it and what people actually thought of the whole Fear of God because I've never really been influenced or interested by Fear of God at all besides one pair of trousers which are the H&M zipper joggers but let's not talk about those. However, more recently, I think he's moved into the Hypebeast sort of trend on YouTube. I'm not gonna blame him for that, especially in the past year, you've had to move towards the new Hypebeast sort of culture and trend on YouTube if you're an American YouTuber because that means you get more popularity and if it's your full-time job, you have to do what you have to do to make money. However, I still think he's a great YouTuber and his videos are always fun to watch. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for reaching 200 subscribers with me. We're gonna aim for our next goal, which is 300 subscribers by the 18th of April, which is my 19th birthday. If we could reach that, it'd be a great birthday present. So thank you guys for watching. I'll leave all the links to the YouTube channels down below. I'll see you in the next video on Sunday. See you later, guys.